Is there a reason? Is there something in your life that made you want to kick it? You know, I just like I just like pushing it. It's it's just sort of like at the time, it's just like God damn, man, fuck it, like let's go, like let's push everything, like massive adrenaline rush, let's kick ass. It's like I want the fucking like how to swim the most money, fucking whatever, you know? Right. Um, <laughs> how many years were you taking it? Let's see. I'd say like 2013 to like, like 20, four years, 2018, maybe four or five years. Okay. Or end of 2018, probably. And so, how were you? How was your life operating during this time? Were you just like still operating as normal, going to work, doing the stuff? Did it really? Did it really affect your life at all? Kicking ass. Uh, it kind of like it didn't really like start like having an impact until it's like. I don't know. It's, it's like if I if I couldn't, it, it's expensive, you know, and it's like shit. Yeah. Is it if hard I to could, find? If I could have like, I I could have probably done it better, but it was you know. Right. I don't say you do know. You don't know. It was more well, like. Yeah. It's like. God, I just got lazy with like, um, being on top of shit, and then. Yeah, it's like, it, you know, it's like, fuck, oh, your dealer gets arrested or whatever, and then it's like, oh, now you're going to feel like shit for fucking three or four days, and you got to work and whatever. Do you remember the last time you did it? Yes. Was it going through your head this was going to be the last time, or? No, like, I totally brought it back. Like, so, when I moved back to St. Louis, I, like, this was on, like, christmas eve or some shit and i remember like moving out of my apartment all that shit all my shit loaded and being like like telling my dealer i was like oh i'm gonna move out on this day but like no dude <laughs> actually i'm just gonna i'm just gonna chill here because i've been buying dope off you um but then i finally like all right i gotta go it's christmas eve i went to the needle exchange in boulder i went to target and fucking bought some foil and then uh I drove back to St. Louis, like stopping at rest, stop, rest stops to smoke dope or smoke off foil. And then I, I, when I got back home, I took a fucking shot of heroin. And that was the last shot of heroin I took. So mm. it was awesome. But before that, like, I don't think I'd shot up for like three months. So. Oh, yeah. I hear a lot of people, that's when they OD because they'll like oh, go definitely. back to their old tolerance level and shit. Well, I, I mean, I'm not saying this is, like, something you should do, but I'd always try to, like, if I was ever going to go get into, like, shooting up or whatever, I'd, I would I would take often take tolerance breaks, like, with sub, Suboxone or Kratom or whatever mm -hmm. to kind of, like, ease, ease the fucking cravings. And But um, it's like, it's like, oh, I went to the Neil Exchange on Christmas Eve. I went to Target to Foil. I'd stop the rest stops. To smoke it, and then when I got home, I took my last shot, and I'm like, "Fuck, I'm drunk." <laughs> <laughs> so you took your last shot. Um, and I guess when you did that, you were like, "This is the last time." Yeah, no, actually, I tried to buy it one more time from from some fucking dork in St. Louis, like whatever heroin Reddit, and then. He sold me, like, I don't know what the fuck he sold me. It was, like, whatever it was, it was, like, that dude was sketch as fuck. And I, I think it was, like, soap. But, yeah, I shot that shit up and he really killed me. 